We're at Techonomy 2011 over in Tucson, Arizona, and we're going to be streaming all of the sessions on the mainstream um, main stage live at Forbes.com forward slash Techonomy, correct? Right. And you have a lot of big discussions happening surrounding uh, jobs, security, and, and cybercrime. What else? Well, we have a lot of very upbeat sessions about, for example, optimism. We have our opening session is why to be optimistic in a pessimistic time. You know, we hear the euro may be about to go away and Greece right. is going bankrupt and, you know, where are all the jobs going to come from, which even we worry about. But overall, we are totally optimistic. A lot of our sessions are oriented towards helping people see how technology and a technologized style of leadership, management, and kind of innovation is the potential way for society to continue growing and, and find better days ahead. But not so that's a big piece of it. But not everyone, everything is actually optimistic. I mean, in no, terms no, of no. Jobs. But I don't want to focus too hard on the <laughs> negatives. We have a couple no. of, we have several <laughs> negatives. We have a session, we have a session on jobs, which is going to talk a lot about how productivity is right. in, certainly going to continue growing because of technology, which is a wonderful thing. But there's serious questions right. as to whether there will be enough jobs, especially for less well-trained people. And you know we're already seeing high unemployment rates in a lot of the developed world, and that's that's worrisome. Um, but, and, and there's a session on cybercrime and the, the fears that we really legitimately need to have about that. Meanwhile, there will be people on the session who have ideas about how to keep those problems at bay. And then there's also a session that's going to talk a lot about privacy and how many people are concerned that in this great day of, of social media and mobile and all these great things that I'm a huge believer in, there is still a very scary subtext that people's privacy may be completely going away and a lot of people are worried about that and, and some other related issues. Quite a few big names that are going to be here. Salesforce's Mark Benioff um, presenting today. Also uh, Greg Gianforte, CEO of Right Now Technologies, just purchased by Oracle. I'm really curious to hear what he has to say about combining the cultures of Right Now and Oracle, two very, very different cultures. Right. Um, also Lyle Lovett is going to be here. He's yes. going to be interviewed by Roger McNamee, who's an investor of Forbes and with Elevation Partners. Who else? Well, we have Jack Dorsey, right. who's the creator of Twitter, is one of our early speakers today. And, and then we're, we're closing on Tuesday with Sean Parker and Jim Breyer. Right. And th that session is going to be talking about what kind of world should we imagine is going to come into existence in five years with all this technology transforming everything about modern life. Tomorrow morning, we have Jeffrey Katzenberg of DreamWorks right. Animation. I'm, I'll be doing an interview with him. We have Craig Mundy of Microsoft. We have uh, Mike Lynch of Autonomy, which HP just bought for a very large amount mm -hmm. of money. Um, so those are some of the big names. There's so a lot of others, too. What is the one thing that you're looking forward to the, the most with this conference? Well, I think the main thing that I want to do with Techonomy is to convey to a larger community, especially in business, the urgent message that you have to embrace technology and basically mm -hmm. turn any company, any organization into, in effect, a technology company. Technology's impacts are so overarching and so wholesale at this point in time because of social, mobile, because of the empowerment of the individual, which I recently wrote about in Forbes, the cover story in, in September, even mm -hmm. though I don't work for Forbes, but I'm very closely <laughs> partnered with you. These things are no joke. No organization can afford any longer to disregard this stuff. And I'm concerned not enough leaders understand that. So the main thing I want to do with Techonomy is convey that message. As leaders, you've got to take you know, the hard step of thinking of yourself as a technologist and your company as a technology company, no matter what you do.